Hello guys, good day. This is Marl again and welcome back to this channel. For this video guys, we will be talking about how to become a caregiver here in Japan. So this is about EPA or JPEPA. So before I start explain about that one guys, if you want to come here in Japan as an exchange student, please check my video on how to become a student visa or how to get a student visa here in Japan. So I will be like linking the link below so you can check the video for exchange student here in Japan. Okay guys, let's start explaining about EPA. So guys, again, our topic is about EPA or JPEPA caregiver here in Japan. So now we will be talking about what is EPA caregiver, what are the qualifications and what are the requirements and number four is the process of applications and the last part is training plus expenses and income for this program. So our first part guys is what is JPEPA. So this one guys stands for Japan Philippines Economic Partnership Agreement. So this one was de developed to facilitate the exchange and migration of Filipino nurses and care workers to work here in Japan. So that's between two countries guys. And usually guys, eh, to most of like mga Filipinos or mga applicants for this one, they we say it like EPA or EPA. So the same lang po yan. EPA, EPA or JPEPA, that's the same. Now if you want to learn more about this agreement guys, you can check the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan. So this is the official site dito sa Japan side guys you can search like agreement between Japan and Republic of the Philippines for economic partnership actually actually this is not only for caregivers meron pang other industries for this JPEP for the economic now we will be talking about the qualifications for the qualification guys wait a minute Eto, this one guys, this was posted sa Facebook ng JPEP News if you want to follow them you can check Facebook guys kasi they are like posting updates about the program and about uh, the applications for this. Now this one was last year and I will be basing my slides here. So what are the qualifications and their requirements last year. So let's start with qualification again for care workers. I just want to clarify guys that this is not only for care workers. Actually meron pang nurses pero I will just explain the care workers guys sana maintindihan so for the care for the for the nurses guys iba naman yung qualification po nila so let's start first thing is four year course with nc2 caregiver test so that is the first thing and the second one is bsn graduate so for bsn graduate guys kahit wala na po tayong test the certificate for caregiver that's okay with or without license it's really okay but then again the so first one guys as you can see dapat merong nc2 caregiver sa testa so kahit education ka na graduate or sa tourism or engineering kahit anong courses pa yan basta four years po siya and you have the testa for nc2 caregiver then you can apply for this program this is not only for nurses and for the caregivers you have to understand that one okay now, i-add ko lang guys, yung sa, ano naman, sa mga nurses naman guys. I don't know if nakikita nyo po dito, clear, eh, to graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing with active PRC license. If you, if you will be applying for nursing, nurses, dito sa Japan, kailangan, eh, to my license po tayo, plus meron tayong minimum of 3 years hospital experience. Yun po yung difference ng dalawa for nurses kailangan ng license plus 3 years eto eh, hospital experience guys that's why it's it's really hard for nurses talaga kasi kailangan ng 3 years kaya i will just explain the care workers guys okay next is our requirements for the requirements guys same lang po yung eto care worker at saka mga nurses so first one is you have to submit your resume this one guys that is your resume with a picture and so next is clear photocopies of so this is xerox xerox lang po hindi po original so tor college diploma four year 
course degree. So, hindi pwedeng ito eh, vocational school 2 years or 3 years lang. Dapat 4 years po talaga siya. And then, updated certificate of employment if you have. So, if you have experience sa work nyo po, you really have to submit those certificate. And then, Japanese language training certificate if you have. Because there are like exemption if meron ka pong certificate for Japanese. Now, valid test the NC2 certificate. Ito po yung sinasabi ko, if you are not a BSN nursing graduate, then you should have this certificate. If you are education, then you have to get NC2 caregiving. Then valid passport. You have to remember guys, when you apply for other countries for job, for example, ito kailangan dapat meron pang 6 months. So pag wala ng 6 months yung passport mo, you have to renew agad para maka-apply ka. Now, for the valid NPI clearance, so it should be multi-purpose. Always remember again, multi-purpose po yan. For P or PEOS ang pagbasa nito guys, PEOS certificate, you just have to log in to PUE. I think you can still access this one, pero you have to go to, eh, to Depi Department of Migrant Workers. Nandun nyo po makikita yung bagong... Eh, to cite nila for this PEO certificate. And then you have to print a copy of your worker's certificate sheet or e-registration. This one also guys, nakalagay dito kasi last year, PUA po. This one is makikita nyo po sa Department of Migrant Workers. So you can search that one to their site, lalabas po yan. You just need to search e-registration. Kahit sa Google, pwede nyo pang iihanapin yung e-registration. That's very simple, guys. Gagawin nyo lang lahat ng information nyo. So, after you have this one, you are complete. So, now you can submit these documents to, eh, to POEA po. Kailangan nyo pong isubmit yan sa POEA directly. So, next is the process of application. This one, guys, I will be explaining the usual process before pandemic. So, again, guys, before pandemic. Ito po talaga yung usual na process nila. Now, I'm using before pandemic, guys, because now kasi sa Pilipinas, and even dito sa Japan, like, somehow, unti-unti bumabalik sa normal. So, I think baka bumalik sila sa eto, process before. So, that's it. So, first thing is you have to submit all the documents. Yung sinabi ko kanina, if you are complete already, you have to submit that to Department of Migrant Workers. Last year, guys, POEA po tayo nagsasubmit. Pero this year, I think the Department of Migrant Workers po. Let's just wait for their like announcement guys. Because their announcement probably it will be out this month. Kasi magsa-start na yan ng application nila by March or maybe last week of this month or by March. So baka magsasubmit na sila na, or kailangan ng magsubmit ng documents. You have to wait for that one. So Again, para ma-updated kayo, you have to follow them. Especially yung sa JPEPA news, yung sa Facebook nila, you can follow them. Next one, ah, for the JPEPA news guys, ililink ko na rin yung site nila dito sa ito, description box. And then one, this one, next one is the number two short list from Department of Migrant Worker. So this one guys, after you submit, they will check your documents if you are complete with the documents and qualified then you can be eh, to part of their short list. Yung short list guys, ilalabas nila yan. Ibig sabihin, you are like eligible for this program. So, kung wala kayo sa list, kahit kompleto kayo ng documents, baka may, nag, may mali sila, you can contact them directly. Kung bakit hindi ka nasama sa list. Now, number three is applicant seminar eto after mo ma shortlist pupunta dati kasi pumupunta sila for this seminar kung kung alam ba ng parents mo na nag apply ka for this program so they really have to check about that one and number 4 guys after the seminar they will check again and then official list from department of migrant workers so that one guys yung number 3 at saka number 4 sa ngayon wala na po sa nung nagka pandemic hindi na po nagkaroon ng application applicant seminar at saka another list kung ano yung list sa number 2 automatic yun na po yung magiging official para sa next step number 5 so employer and applicant matching so sa ano guys before pandemic guys lahat ng employers pumupunta sa Maynila and then they will explain their facility 
and like kung ano yung conditions and they, they will explain that one and then makikinig lahat ng hindi naman ka, depende po sa inyo kung pakikinggan nyo lahat but you can go to their booth dati kasi may booth yan so pupunta ka at saka mag hindi interview walang mangyayaring interview guys ang mangyayari lang is makikinig ka sa information nila and then lilipat ka sa ibang booth so yun yung eh, ito magiging process before pandemic but now I think nagko online sila ngayon so eto you can check the like sa online also kahit before naman po sa pandemic after the uh, this matching before talaga mag match kayo ng employer you can check all the details sa GQuels po yung ano yan I, bibigyan po kayo ng eto ID at saka or gagawa kayo ng ID guys tapos gagawa din kayo ng password para makapasok kayo so meron kayong sariling account para sa matching na to number 5 so makikita nyo doon lahat ng employers lahat ng mga conditions po nila so pag, pag gusto mo yung employer na yon tapos gusto ka ng employer na yon ibig sabihin nag match kayo so that's the bigger like you have the biggest chance na makapunta dito sa Japan pag nag match talaga kayo kaya importanteng importante dito guys na maka appeal ka rin sa employer mo na marunong mag Japanese or you will do everything to study or to work here in Japan as a caregiver para mag match talaga kayo kasi pag hindi kayo nag match guys hindi ka makakapunta or pag hindi ka na match ng employer ibig sabihin wala kang chance na makapunta dito sa Japan side now pag lumamas na yung result guys next thing is you have your training in the Philippines 6 months po yung training and then after that one pag natapos sa Pilipinas you have your training also here in Japan so hindi automatic na after pag pumasok ka na ng Japan automatic na makakapagtrabaho ka na it's not like that you really have to eh, to do the training next one guys is after six months you start your work as a caregiver so this one guys for the caregiver work you will be studying i mean you will be working in facility for three years and after three years guys you have to take the national exam now if you don't if you cannot pass the national exam guys for the license of caregiver talaga you still have the chance to extend for another one year that is your last chance to extend your stay here in japan now Ang maganda ngayon guys, first take or second take, pag hindi ka pa rin nakapasa, you can apply to SSW. But for now, I will not be explaining SSW. That is another way now on how you can extend your stay here in Japan. You can also move to SSW. Basta guys, for this EPA process, after three years, magtrabaho, take national exam. If you pass the national exam, you can stay here forever in Japan. But if you cannot pass that first take, second take, there's a chance but you must like pass that one if hindi uuwi ka ng Pilipinas or magpapalit ka ng visa as SSW so that would be our process for the application guys from 1 to number 9 so bottom line to this one guys ang goal po talaga dito is to pass the national exam so yung number 10 guys yung hindi ko sinulat dito is being a licensed caregiver here in Japan now we will be talking about the training and also the expenses so first one the le lesson is about in the philippines n4 n5 to n4 and then in japan side guys of course n4 of course nakatapos na kayo ng n4 sa pilipinas as much as possible they would like to continue from n4 but there are chances uh, there are like cases guys na kahit tapos na sa pilipinas hindi pa rin okay yung yung level ng student so somehow like may mga students talaga mumabalik sa N5 yung class nila now mode of class sa Philippine side online and face to face so yun po yung nangyari last, last year merong online meron ding face to face classes and then same I'm sorry guys nagkamali ako dito sa Japan side I think wala silang online kasi of course you will be staying in one place so in house po ang mangyayari same naman din sa ano pag nag face to face dito sa I mean sa dito sa Japan in house po kasi kayo kaya mag face to face kayo with your classes so please check guys also for the updates kung how they they do their class now as far as I know guys sorry if nagkamali ako dito sa part na to as far as I know in house kasi yan in one place so ibig sabihin they will have a face to face class lalo na kahit lalo na ngayon na bumabalik na konti sa normal yung lahat 
Now, duration, 6 months, 6 months, the same. Location sa Pilipinas, or there are like 3 locations kung mag-face-to-face -face man kayo eh, to test the training center po yung ginagamit nila dati. Ngayon, eto dito sa Japan naman guys, in-house, eh, pati naman sa Pilipinas, in-house, no? Kung in-house, kung mag-face-to-face -face kayo guys, for this training in Japan also in-house so Yokohama basically ay, dati pa lang nasa Yokohama po talaga yung eto training center nila now for the expenses guys zero dilagay ko dito Japan and the Philippine side sa Philippine side guys eto yung expenses po natin for example dati nung pandemic yung kilala ko mga applicants nagbayad sila for the vaccine, I mean not for the vaccine, for the eh, PCR test bago sila pumunta dito. And I think wala ng PCR ngayon kaya it's okay for that one but the health checkup guys nagbabayad po kayo niyan. Hindi ko sinali yan kasi it's not part of the application. It's already like your your like your health already before coming here in Japan. So sayo na po talaga yan. Now for the income guys, free allowance, free allowance. Dito sa the Philippine side free and the sa Japan side is free po yan. So for the uh, amount, I don't want to put the amount exactly because it changes every year and lalo na ngayon mababa yung Japanese. So yan, yung sinasabi ko lang dito is free allowance. So free po talaga may matatanggap kayong allowance from the government of Japan which is like nanggagaling din sa magiging, magiging employers po ninyo. That's it guys. That is like another way on how you can come here in Japan. So this one guys is government to government program po talaga. This is 1000% legit. So you can apply sorry guys. So you can like apply for this one sa PUEA or I mean um, Department of Migrant Workers. You must check their site and then their Facebook as well para alam nyo kung kailan yung application, kailan yung matching, ano yung magiging process because every year din guys, nag-change po kasi yung decision ng Philippine side at, at saka ng Japan side. So, much better talaga i-check yung information sa site, official site po nila. This one guys, I'm just giving you the general information on like what other ways para makapunta dito sa Japan as a caregiver. So again, that is just general information guys. And sana po nakatulong po yung eh, to video na to para kung may mga relatives kayo or even kung kayo talaga yung mag apply bilang caregiver, if it's really good information, please share to your friends para madami kayong pupunta dito sa Japan. And follow follow subscribe ka subscribe sorry guys i'm not really vlogger i'm just doing like recently doing this one para sa information ng karamihan okay just subscribe like and ano ba yun? so yeah basta guys yun na thank you so much guys bye bye